Okay, so after MD, you're a medical doctor. After MBBS, what are you? <laughs> Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. In this video today, I'm going to be talking about the differences between MD and MBBS. I get this question all the time and I know it's a place where people can get a little bit confused, especially when it comes to deciding which medical school they should go to. So hopefully this video will serve to provide some clarity on the differences between MD and MBBS so you can choose the school that's right for you. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Adun Aluren and I'm a fourth year medical student studying at the University of the West Indies, which is an MBBS based medical school. But without further ado, let's get started. So most people know that MD stands for medical doctor and it is the distinction that you get upon graduating from a medical school. And MBBS, which you also obtain once you successfully complete your MBBS program at whatever school you're going to, MBBS stands for Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery. So MD schools are usually the schools based out of the United States or Canada and as we're going to discuss a little bit later, even sometimes in the Caribbean. While MBBS schools are usually in India, the Caribbean, and some other countries as well. So the question I get all the time is, okay, so this is a Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery degree. Is this just a bachelor's degree? And I think what people mean by that question is, if they have obtained a bachelor's degree in let's say biology like I have, they're kind of wondering, is this just gonna be another bachelor's like the one I already have? And the answer to that question is basically yes and no. So at my university, for instance, the MBBS degree is considered an undergraduate program. So it is an undergraduate degree. However, it is nothing like the bachelor's of science in biology or chemistry that you obtained. So I have a bachelor's degree in integrative animal biology that I obtained at the University of South Florida in Tampa, Florida. And it is nothing at all like the degree I'm pursuing now, which is the MBBS degree. So my bachelor's in biology made me nothing. It didn't make me a biologist or anything like that. But my bachelor's of medicine, bachelor's of surgery is gonna be that degree that is gonna allow me to gain the distinction of doctor. So what is the difference in curricula between an MBBS program and an MD program? In short, MBBS programs are usually a little longer than MD programs. For instance, my MBBS program is a total of five years. Most MD programs, however, are usually about four years long. So in an MBBS program that is five years like mine is, the first two and a half years are gonna be spent doing preclinical courses, and the latter two and a half years are gonna be spent in the hospital doing rotations and your clinical courses. And MD programs are usually similar to that in that they split their four years in half front-loading the first two years with pre-clean classes and leaving the clinical courses to the latter two years. So another question that I get is, okay, so when you finish an MD program, you're a medical doctor. When you finish MBBS, what are you? <laughs> So once you complete your five years of your MBBS program, you end it with sitting an exam called Final MBBS. Once successfully passing Final MBBS, you are allowed to go into intern year and you are given the distinction of a doctor. Now, following graduation, I think, is where the MD and MBBS programs really differ. Say for instance, in the US where they have MD programs, a US medical graduate it right before graduation is going to be applying for a process called the match. So the US match is what allows US medical graduates to get accepted into postgraduate residency programs, allowing them to specialize in different medical specialties. However, in the Caribbean, for instance, where we do MBBS, you're going to complete your MBBS and then directly go into your intern year before doing anything else. So another commonly 
asked question that I get is, okay, so you've gotten your MBBS, can you practice medicine in the United States? The short answer is yes. After obtaining an MBBS degree, you can indeed apply for the US match, just like a US medical graduate would. So for us in MBBS programs, we will have to take US board exams in order to apply for the match. So you would be needing to take your USMLE Step 1, USMLE Step 2 CK, and USMLE Step 2 CS. This process is competitive for us, but it is not at all impossible. Do not fret. <laughs> I did a live with Dr. Kevin Carroll here on my channel and that video is still posted but he graduated from my school as well with his MBBS degree and he just recently matched into a US residency program so in that video he talks about how he went about doing that and what that process looked like for him so one of the heaviest questions that I get is should I go to an MD school or should I go to an MBBS school and the short of that is it depends so when choosing a medical program there are a lot of things that go into making that decision and a lot of different things that you should consider but for this video let's focus on three things that I think you should focus on when deciding between MD and MBBS the first thing how much is this degree going to cost me so because I am a Caribbean national and I have a video on this as well, but my MBBS degree is subsidized, I end up only paying about 15% of my tuition every year. And really and truly, girl, I can beat that with a bat. The second thing, where do you actually want to live during your medical degree? So your medical degree can go from four to five years and in that time you don't want to be somewhere where you're going to be miserable so do you want to live in the caribbean to get an mbbs degree or do you want to live in the states to get an md or canada to get an md and so on and so forth and the third question you need to answer for yourself is where do i want to practice medicine after medical school like i said earlier if you obtain an mbbs degree it is not at all impossible for you to match into a US residency program but it is a little bit more challenging and you do have to balance taking US boards with your MBBS curriculum so you'd want to keep that in mind but it is not impossible so people come up with the answers to these questions and formulate their own medical journey I have met doctors in the States when I was working in the hospital in Bradenton Florida who just wanted to go to medical school in the Caribbean but still wanted to come back to the US and practice medicine so they went to the Caribbean and went to schools that offered MD programs and so that they could transition easily back to the United States where they're from so answering these questions gives you a good idea on different schools you can choose because there are MD schools even in the Caribbean. So once you get more answers to these questions, you can kind of narrow down your choices to a perfect medical school for you. So the long and short of it guys is please continue to answer these questions for yourself and please continue to do your research on these universities. Just because a school is an MD school doesn't mean it will be right for you. And just because a school is an MBBS school doesn't mean it will be right for you. But please do pick a program and a university that is going to work best for you. If you can, if it is in your power. But if it is not, please do not get hung up on it. At the end of the day, you will be a physician. So I really hope this video provided some clarity for you. If it did, please give it a big thumbs up if it has not please feel free to DM me on Instagram my Instagram is linked below as well as my email if that works best for you and I will be sure to reply just like I reply to all the comments underneath my videos I reply to each and every single DM and I reply to each and every single email so please feel free to hit me up if you have any more questions but thank you so much for watching this video i really appreciate it and hopefully i will see you in my next video so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you can be notified each and every single time i post a new video thank you guys so much again i'll see you next time bye